Hello, boys and girls. My name is Sticky. Welcome to another episode of I Am a Work of Art. In today's episode, we meet nine year old Zia Dyer, who is doing gymnastics. Zia loves and enjoys gymnastics, and she is very flexible. I'm excited to hear more about Zia. I am nine years old. I started doing gymnastics when I was five. At home, I live with my mum, my dad, my, and my brother. I like playing with my brother, my cat, and my friend. My friend's name is Anissa. I'm Nur Daya. I'm 11 years old, and Sia is my sister. I am Anissa Jerome, and I am nine years old, and I am Zia's best friend. My sister is very passionate, kind, caring person. My best friend, she's funny and she has a very good talent. My name is Yang and I'm Zia Dai's mom. Zia is an amazing child. Um, both my children are. My favorite thing to do in the house is do gymnastics and drawing. She's a very free child. I call her my rainbow child because she loves colors. She loves working with colours. Um, she's always painting or doing some sort of arts and craft uh, or tumbling in the lounge. The neighbours downstairs complain. <laughs> when I draw, I feel relaxed and my mum gets very really proud of my work when I bring home some of my paintings. gymnastics because I get to tumble and be free. Sia's favorite thing to do is that flick flack, double kick cartwheel or backflip or whatever. Growing up, um, Sia was a child who lived her life upside down. Um, she was always tumbling, watching TV, she'd sit on the couch on her head, like upside down on her head. Homework, she'd be doing her homework and she'd be flipping. I was tumbling and my mom asked me, do I, I want to do gymnastics? And she's like, mom, what's that? And I said, I showed her a video on YouTube and she was like, yes, I want to do it, let's do it. So I found the nearest club that was where we lived. And she called it and she said that, um, the lady on the phone said that I can start on Wednesday. She got there and they loved her and three months later she was doing competitions and since then she's just, she's now level four and she's nine years old so she's doing really well. Girls in the first three levels of gymnastics work on basic skills such as forward and backward rolls, cartwheels and handstands. And once girls reach level four, they can begin to take part in the national competitions. I was doing gymnastics. I did my competition since level one when I was five, and then ever since I've been doing gymnast uh, competitions until now. But uh, this year was my first year to do nationals. Sia's gymnastics have led her to be more focused, uh, more determined. It's brought out a side in her that we haven't seen. Um, more disciplined side because she's very fun-loving and she's not always serious. She's opposite to her brother. Um, but when she's getting ready for competitions and for gymnastics, she's very focused, she's very driven. And it's good to see that gymnastics has done that for her. I practice gymnastics two times a week, but during com competitions, I practice four times a week. One of the uh, challenges are that uh, is that when they do competitions and they prepare for competitions. The training regimens gets quite, the schedule gets quite tight where they train four or five times a week. 
and that like eats into her playtime or her social time. Some of the challenges are I have to miss school for competitions. So she does well at school because she's so free. She's like there's no added pressure mm -hmm. to do anything that she doesn't want to do. My parents supporting me has helped me to get to where I am now. First time I saw her in a competition, I was quite nervous. She had just been doing gymnastics for three months. My parents have always been to my competitions. I saw her and it was amazing because I couldn't believe that that was my child up there with so much of confidence and so, so much of, of poise and just to do what she loved and just thoroughly enjoy it. I, I, I enjoyed seeing that. And the results were that she, she won some medals for the apparatus. When I won the medals, I felt happy and, yeah, just happy. And I cried. <laughs> I cried tears of joy. <laughs> when she won the medal, I, I was very excited. I was running around the house screaming, we won, although she won, but I'm part of the team. When I went to the nationals, I, I felt very proud of myself and it was a little bit scary because uh, there was more people from other places. I just got a, a certificate at National, but next year I'm going to work my, my hardest to get ready for the next Nationals. I'm impressed by Zia and her dedication. She's already on level four at her age. I think she will definitely do great at the Nationals next year. After the break, we will join Zia at her gymnastics practice. Stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. You're watching I Am A Work Of Art. We are now going to meet Zia's coach, Michelle Texera, and see her help Zia to perfect her art form. I'm Michelle Tixera, Zia's gymnastics coach. I met Zia when she was about five years old. Um, that's when she started at our gymnastics club. Um, she tried out a class and has loved it ever since. Zia is a very quiet student, I'll say, very focused and hardworking, and also very determined. She is really good at it, and she has a passion for gymnastics. She practices and she's really excellent in it. It's clear to see that Zia loves expressing herself, not only in gymnastics, but also in her painting. But for now, let's get back to gymnastics. The challenges are that um, she, she can get hurt, like she falls off the beam or she rips her on her skin, on her hands. Um, but we just gotta reassure her and say to her that it's okay. You can take a break. It's okay, you don't have to go and work so hard. It's okay to relax a bit and just have fun. Sure, she makes mistakes, she falls off the beam, but it's natural. She is working on cartwheels on beam. She's working on backward walkovers on beam. Obviously her floor, she's doing her um, round of back uh, flick flack and back tucks. On bar, she's learning to, now they move to the high bar. So before she was only gymming on the low bar. So that's, that's quite a big thing for them to, to get is to now start working on the, the high bar. I would like to improve on my beam 
in gymnastics because I keep falling off and I'm a bit scared of it because when I was doing something, I twisted my ankle and, it, and I fell off of the beam and, beam and it hurt. Fear is also a positive sign that you are getting better in your art form. Every time you try a new skill or step outside of your comfort zone, fear may be there to greet you. is definitely um, commitment and dedication. Thereafter, obviously hard work. And then it's just, yeah, if, if you've got hard work and dedication, you can really achieve, achieve anything. Michelle has taught me everything I know now about gymnastics. She just comp uh, finished competing level four, so we are now working towards her level five um, elements. So once she has mastered them, the competition will be next year. Um, as well as a few new, new skills that will be needed as she um, goes through the levels. As a parent, um, you will always be proud of your kids. Um, however, Zia's talent has taken her quite far at such a young age. And both, both of us are extremely proud of her. Any chance we get to boast about her, we do it. <laughs> um, it's not just because she's our kid, but she truly is amazing and um, she, she thoroughly enjoys gymnastics and that I think is the most important thing, is to have fun doing it. My role model is my teacher Michelle. Friends, let us hear how gymnastics has had an impact on Zia's life and what she wants to achieve. This talent has changed my life by um, making friends and being flexible. So I think it's helped her come out of her shell a little bit and um, helped her gain confidence. Um, and that's really what we want for children is, is you know, we want them to uh, achieve and succeed, but more importantly, we want them to be confident kids, um, to go out into the world being very confident. And I think that's what we've really helped Zia with is her confidence. As a parent, uh, it's very important to be involved in your child's activities in their life because when you, when you are involved in, their, in what they're doing, um, it tells them that you value them and they are worth, and, and it helps with their self-worth. It's very, I think, hard for children to excel at something and share their passion if the parents don't share that passion with them. Um, so it is very important um, that the parents support. You know, there's a lot of competitions. They have to travel to competitions. There's competition fees. Um, as well as all the emotional support. You know, the kids get nervous, they get emotional, they get disappointed, as well as being obviously very happy once they do achieve. I like having my talent because my friends at school ask me to do tricks, and when I do the tricks, they're like, oh, that was so amazing. To see Zia achieve, to go in the Olympics and do what she loves and her passion for gymnastics and win a gold medal. I'd like to see Zia achieve all that she desires, whatever her heart fancies. Um, if she wants to go to the Olympics, we will help and support her to get there. If she wants to be an art teacher, we'll help her to get there. So whatever her heart desires. I would like to compete in the Olympics. Well, Zia's a, a wonderful child um, with, like I say, great focus and determination. So we would love to see her um, continue excelling and reaching higher levels. She's currently competed level four, where she competed in Cape Town at the gym games. Um, so we hope to see her doing level five next year and thereafter reaching higher levels. I want Zia to go to the Olympics because then I get a free trip out of it. I can go to the... I can go to, if it's been held in Russia, go to Russia, eat lots of nice food, <laughs> play lots of nice games, and also watch Zia win a gold medal. With so much support from her family and teacher, I think Zia will achieve all her dreams. After the break, we will see more great gymnastic moves. Stay tuned. Welcome back, friends. You are still tuned into I Am a Work of Art. We are now going to meet Zia's mentor for today, Bianca Mann. 
Let's go! I'm Bianca Mann. I'm an artistic gymnast. I've been an artistic gymnast now for 16 years. I got involved in gymnastics because of my sister. She was also a gymnast, but unfortunately she had to retire due to injury. Um, my journey as a gymnast has been an incredible one. There's been lots of ups and downs, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Bianca is a South African female artistic gymnast. She represented South Africa at the international competitions. She competed at the World Championships, including the 2014 World Artistic Gymnastics Championships in Nanning, China. I'm Yanka, nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Zia. Zia, and how old are you, Zia? Nine. Nine years old. And gymnastics, is it your favourite sport? Yes. Do you do any other sports? No. And what's your favourite apparatus in gymnastics? Bar. Bar, that's also my favourite. And um, what are you struggling with? Beam. So do you want to work on some beam? Okay, so since that's your favourite apparatus is bar, do you want to show me what your favourite skill is? Okay, let's go. <laughs> good, what are you struggling with? That's very good. Okay, try to keep your legs tight in handstand and try to wash the beam the whole time and then it'll be perfect every time. Oh, almost. Are you watching the beam? <laughs> try one more time. Nice tight body and handstand. Very good, well done. I think most gymnasts struggle with what Zia is struggling. I think she's a young gymnast and for her to learn a handspring over the horse or for to her to learn a cartwheel on the beam, it's something new, it's something different. And I think with time, um, the more she gets comfortable with gymnastics and the sports of gymnastics, I don't think she will struggle with that anymore. I've been doing gymnastics for 16 years now, so it's a very long time. <laughs> competitions you? The competitions that I attended, the biggest competition was the Commonwealth Games in 2014, and I've also been a part of the World Championships team on two occasions. But I hear you've just come back from a competition in Cape Town. Do you have fun while you're doing it? That's good. Um, so now you're going to be level five next year. And are you excited? What do you have to learn for level five? A handspring over the big vault. And have you started learning it? How's it going? Good, can you do it? And what else do you have to learn on B? Do you have to learn a cartwheel? And can you do your cartwheel? Yes. Still learning it. That's good. Gymnastics has helped Zia with discipline, courage, hard work, and self confidence. Show me a pull around and three pass. Good, and nice straight legs, feet together. And big pass, one, two, three. Good, and can you show me, uh, when you're in support position, can you show me, uh, you're gonna go forwards and to tap hold on the bar. Can you do that? Okay, so jump up into front support. Good, okay, and you're gonna go forwards. Hold the pull up position. And bend legs, tuck position. There you go, point your toes. Very good, and relax. There you go. <laughs> Zia is a young star, if I can say it like that. Um, she's, she's committed, she's, she's got the talent, and I think she's, she's really re ready to work. And I think that's what you need as a gymnast. And I think she's got a bright career ahead of, ahead of her. With Bianca, we did the, the bar, the beam, and the floor and tumbling. Uh, a lot of people don't know about the sport of gymnastics is the, the physical impact that it has on your body. Although it looks very nice when we're flipping through the air and we doing all these fancy things, the impact on your body is incredible. But at the same time, a lot of people don't know the joy that most people get from gymnastics and being able to do the things that we do. Having parents' sports in gymnastics is probably 
the biggest factor that can affect whether you're going to make it as a gymnast or not. I think um, if you go home at night and your parents are constantly telling you that you need to change the sport or you need to do something different, I think um, as a gymnast, I think you're never going to make it. In order for them to achieve their potential, the level of commitment is, is beyond just financial. There's the emotional commitment, there's the time, there's the being present, there's the, there's the moments where she feels like she can't do this anymore and you just got to allow her to be and go through that. Um, it's just the support and the love that you need to provide for your kid in order to, to, to flow and, and do her best. The advice that I have for Zia and other gymnasts is that if this is what you want to do, then I think you should go out there with all your heart and put um, all your time and effort into gymnastics and um, I have no doubt that you will achieve then. Um, it's a very difficult sport, it is, and there's times where you're going to hate it and there's times where you're going to love it, but ultimately you just have to push through. My name is Zia Dyer, I'm nine years old and I'm a work of art. Zia is on the right track and has all the support she needs to be great. All the best for your next nationals competition, Zia. That's it for today, guys. See you again next time with another work of art. Bye-bye for now.